Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Lord Holland 4293, and today I have another how to perform in tier sixes for you folks. I'm in Hawaii, and my buddy is in a Graf's Bay, and well, his friend is in a Arizona. Now, Hawaii is similar to the Perth. And that she does have the crawling smoke hydro. She doesn't get a spotter, but the playstyle is roughly the same. If you can play a Perth, uh, you can play a Longye. It's really easy. Now you can switch out the hydro hydro acoustic search for uh, torpedo reload booster. That is a very that is a if you want to do that skill and you have a Perth with you. Like if you and a perk div up, you could easily do that, and you guys could do amazing things on uh, Aegis. Really, almost any op, you could do amazing things with that combo. Assuming you both know the ships and can work well, that it's a lot, it's a very tactical uh, thing, and I do plan on showing a replay of how to do that at some point. So I'll be on the lookout for that, Captain. Now, I'm just kind of ducking and dodging, shooting HE, switching to AP, you know, just not trying not to lose too much health from these forts. Because I am going to push in, because my buddies, Arizona, Grass Bay, and the Cleveland's coming with us. And we're just trying to take the southern flank. Now, I mean, we for our team, we get a Leander, a Longye, Graf, Cleveland, Arizona, and two North Coast. It's a really great team, but you'll see as the op progresses that things kind of go um, sideways. Uh, this just kind of shows you that not even I get five stars all the time. That even I have to deal with a three or Four, four star. Now my friend says, "Devil, what a noob!" Because the Cleveland pops his um, well, his surveillance radar, but we're nowhere near in range of the DD. So why would you pop the radar? Now I'm kind of like, okay, I'm gonna take a little hit from here. It's whatever. Knocks out my rudder. It's okay. My rudder's still straight. So I'm not going to really tear on her or anything, so I don't have to worry about it. And I decide, okay, I'm doing a DCP. I'm just going to crawl forth at one, put my hydro up. I'm going to go four speed to get it up higher than when I see the DD. And I get, no one gets closer, I have HE loaded. And then I'm going to start just walking my smoke in. Now, you see how... Um... One thing that was very interesting, I can get the chat, the uh, Cleveland already popped his Hydra, even though I had Hydra running. Now here comes the smoke, smoke train, and my friend Devil, he wants to go, he's going to go torp the battleship, but it, but it doesn't go his way. I do pick up the DD though. He popped his Hydra because he didn't, because he didn't realize I had mine on. Now, in normal aspects, you could easily torp this battleship, but he doesn't do, but the Baron here has a very great coding, and that he dodges torps like ridiculous. I don't know what, what happened there, but as you can see, the torps kind of just slid right by, and he was really not happy right there. And fortunately, I'm in a position where I can then use my my um, my Taurus and my walking smoke to kind of get get that 30k damage, and then the grab picks it up. But you know, there's those torps from the Leander, and honestly, I don't know why he turned why Devil turned back in. He. I guess he overestimated it. I mean, if he had turned out, he would have been probably fine. 
I did switch the AP. I should have just shot shot HE and there goes there goes Devil. And as you guys have seen, you know, kicks decent, but he's average. So it's basically me hold, trying to hold this whole fling at this point. Now I'm like at this point, my all my consumables are down. I'm at about half health. And you will see, you know, I don't want the team to go rushing into the port. So I'm like, you know, I know what I can do. I have these torps. So I'm going to use my torps. I start shooting at the guys now to get his DCP off. So I know when I get a fire and get in range, his DCP has gone. So I can get as much as I can on him. At this point, it's just like, yeah. Now for you, those who don't have the Wang Ye, um... For you, those of you on the American server, there is a very there is a special offer in the premium shop on the online website that you can pick up the Wang Ye for ten dollars. That's a tremendous deal. That's about it's almost buying the ship at half price, and I do recommend doing that. It, it it's a very nice ship. It gives you cold at Christmas and it gives you green boosters on the anniversary. So it's a good ship. Now guys, now does DCP. My torps are only like eight kilometers, so I gotta get in closer. There goes a. There's another fire, that's permanent, and I'm just trying. And I know the Baron is there. I'm well aware the Baron is there, and I'm aiming my torps up just to try to get all those torps on. And then I just wiggle back and forth, and you can see, clearly see that the Baron is turning his guns at me. You can see that. But there's not much I can really do, so I get a fire on the Baron. And you see how the sword, and I just wiggle and duck and dodge. The torps, the shells just miss me. And then I drop my torps on him. Now I am going to pick up the Baron. And all my torps are going to hit the Gnizer now. For like for two floods. And you can see the Gneisenau torps are coming by. Most people forget that the Gneisenau does launch torps. And they die to it. And you can see I got a fire and I got double floods burning on them now. Now, I didn't have to pop my thing, but I did. I don't know why. I guess I was just worried he would put a Citadel right through me. Now, in that exchange, I basically like doubled my damage and I only lost like 6,000 health. That's not a bad exchange rate for health wise. Now at this point I'm just like, I'm gonna get these buildings knocked out. And then I'm gonna go for these transports. And it's like, well, we see the North Coasters kind of doing their own thing. And, which is, they're past the point of really helping on the reinforcements. I mean, they are. They're past the point of helping. Which is unfortunate, because we could have had a five-star on this. But, you know, I'd pick up five kills, 124,000 damage. Not bad. Like I've said, I, like the whole point of this knew how to perform. And there we go, it's the Cleveland popping hot radar gun. I don't know why. I don't know why, but... Yeah. But the key to performing in a tier 6 is... Not about tier. It's not about DPM. It's about positioning. And choosing the right moments to push. And seizing the moment. If you know your team and doesn't look good on the map, and you're in a six, and you know you have it, you can have these gimmicks like the Long Yang and the Perth have. Use that to your advantage and get that damage. Now, at this point, I'm like, I would love to go and hunt down the care the battleships and everything, but I just don't have the health, so I'm like, I'm just gonna bugger out. I'm just going to leave and head to the evac zone. Sometimes winning an op and getting two stars is better than not winning an op. And I kind of tell the Cleveland, hey, you know, go back to the south. 
point and help protect it. Well, he... We don't. He doesn't, so that's unfortunate. And unfortunately, you know, Kick... I said when Devil died, it was really only me. Well, you know, Kick's a new player. He doesn't really know the game as well as I do. I mean... I've got about 20,000 battles under my belt. About maybe 7,000 in... Probably maybe 6,000 in co-op. 7,000 in randoms. Or 7,700 in randoms. And about over 7,000 operation battles. I play ops a lot. So, I know what I'm doing in ops. I can pull off these risky maneuvers. And sometimes I die. Yes. But I know how to perform it. I played these ops since RTS days. So I know every trick and trade in the book. That's why I'm making these videos now. Is to help the community. And I make these on my own free time. I don't... I don't work that often. And I'm disabled. So... I'm giving back to the community. And I don't expect anything in return. All I really want is just to have subscribers and comments on my YouTube channel to see and to know that people are listening. That's all I really want. But it makes me feel happy when I go on and I look at my st statistics on my channel and I see that people are viewing and it viewing my channel. It makes me feel happy. And you see the T-61, T-22 shows up. If the Cleveland had gone south, we could have had the Do Not Enter Haven uh, one, which is unfortunate. So it could have been like a three-star op, but it ends up being a two-star. But it's a two-star and a win, and it shows how to perform in a tier six. So it's a win-win in my book. But you see how the Cleveland just having trouble, but I'm just landing all my shots on him. And he... he it, uh, the North Co picks it up at the secondary. But I mean, I like making these videos. They're fun. And I like showing my skill. And if you use these skills and practice them, you can become an, an amazing operations player where you can help uh, carry a team. Now, the lander, I don't know why he did what he did. He could have stayed up north, but he kept pushing south for some reason to... I don't know. And he was just missing his torps all the time. So he really messed up to a point. Which is unfortunate. And I would like to say also that my new gaming computer, I just got word today, is... At my the computer shop... It's all been set, so tomorrow I should hopefully be able to make some videos and upload in some good quality. Well, starting tomorrow, I'll start recording in better quality and everything. So I have one more replay today and then to make, but then after that, it's pretty much just uploading the videos. They won't be as great as quality, but I promise you, after I get these all these videos uploaded... I will start uploading the game in a higher resolution so you can get more of the graphics and more of the fun. Now it's like I popped my Hydra because I'm like, I know the Baron's there. I'm hoping I can get him down. And I'm like, okay, I want to start shooting. I start shooting. I pop my, you know, my consumable. But, you know, they go dark because the only one spotting them is the North Code behind me. But I do get nice, you do get some four shells on there. And I'm up to 133,000 damage in a tier six. That's really good damage. Now, I'm just kind of like slamming on my brakes so the, so the, I don't go forward. I go backward. So the smoke, so he goes. So the NC does all the tanking and blocks it. But you can see I start, I switch my target immediately to the Baron. Because I need to get him down. 
and you see that our team is finally focusing down the Nuremberg. So we're going to get that star. So it, it's at least a three-star op at now at this point. If I can kill this guy and make it in, we have a three-star op. Could add a four-star op, but it's whatever. Three-star is still fairly decent for a, for a division queue. Remember, the ops aren't all about always getting the five stars now. A three and a four star are respectable. A two star is, you know, good, but it's not, it's not great, but it's it's something. And, you, and you'll see the things that five stars matter. No. Completing the operation matters. Forget the stars. And I messed up my torps there, which is unfortunate. So I'm like, ah, uh, crud. So I gotta kill this guy now, and fortunately, kick secondaries, pick him up, so I can go dark now. And my my um, walking smoke goes out, so I'm like, okay, now things are getting hairy. And I'm like, come on, people, shoot this guy, cause we can get that star. And I and kick is in the circle. But I need the other guys to move up. Like this North Cove behind, we could have moved up. And I know Kick's probably just going to go down. I know he's going to go down. Because you can look at the guns on the Gnaiz now. I get a fire there. And yeah, you can see the Gnaiz now's guns are looking at him. But now my torps are ready. My torps should be coming up right now. Yeah. And I put my torps on. I make sure this time to aim. And I got two fires on this Gnaiz now. Kick goes down. And I pick up the Gnaiz now. 166,000! Now, I was thinking, I've got to be first on this match. I've got to be first. But I, I end up being second. Which is still respectable. I mean, when you're beating... Three tier sixes and two tier eights. And you've got, like, half the kills. Almost half the kills. It really is like, okay, you do some major damage. And, you know, at this point, I'm just trying to move back, trying to wait, just hoping one of those battleships gets in the circle because I can't live long. And I do get a fire, and I'm, I'm just popping my hydro just, just because. Get another fire. Oh, so that's going to tick. That's going to bring it up a little bit more. And, you know, 100 and... 76. That's not bad. And that's how to perform in a tier 6, folks.